Ladies and gentlemen, the time skip is over. After roughly about two full days of maintenance, welcome back to One Piece Bounty Rush. I've been waiting with very bated breath for this update. I was hoping something big was going to happen, something super exciting. Uh, and they did release some actually very interesting new content. Uh, and a new character. So what we're going to do today is cover that a little bit, play a little bit inside Season 9. And then kind of check out what's all up and up and going on right now. So first and foremost, before we even go and hop into the banner checking and stuff, uh, I want to talk about the new event that did drop here, which actually seems to be a very... So you know me. You know my opinions on runners. I'm not a fan of runners at, in any capacity whatsoever, ever. Um, however, I do think this Vivi sounds like she's going to be... A better version of the healers and supporters we've had so far. Uh, cause the... Was, was it Kaya? The, the Syrup Village girl was not a really good, like, version of it. And Chopper is alright, but she kind of has a better form of a kit versus what Chopper has. Um, she has a heal and a defense increase for the team. So, I'm curious how she's gonna end up playing, and I do think she's gonna be very interesting for that. It does seem as if, weirdly enough, we're going into events based on where the anime is right now. So, the anime right now is celebrating the Reverie, which is the big meetup of all the different countries and great shit happens. Uh, this is the design from the Reverie for Vivi, and I actually like her, her little cape quite a bit, if we actually go ahead and scroll down here. Um, however, what this means is we might possibly be getting content alongside the anime as it comes around. So, we have the VV here, but also inside the exchange for the actual event points and stuff, we have the Mermaid Princess from Fishman Island, and we have the... I don't know if... Is it Rebecca that goes to the Reverie? I don't remember. It was some One Piece face girl. In the manga, it, was, it went past quickly. It's okay. It's the Attendant of Dress Rosa, um, which I imagine probably would be uh, Rebecca. Blah, blah. Memories, faces, I'm horrible, especially when it's all pink. Um, but you know, it is Reverie, and that's what I'm excited about for the most part, because if this is the case, I wonder if we're going to get Wano units as they come around as the anime goes on, because the anime has been hyping up a lot about Wano so far, including the director being, I don't remember who the exact name was, but someone's very established. Uh, different things being teased, Wano Act 1 having their whole, like, arc plan. So, I'm very curious if we'll be getting them alongside, and if so, I would love to get a Lufkichi, Luf, Luf, Luf was it? They were calling him? I would love to get that. That would be fantastic. However, alongside all of this, and alongside the Reverie beginning, uh, we also have more banners drop for the other 2D, 3 or 3D, 2, fuck... 3D2Y character uh, in the Zoro here. I don't know why I'm so out of it today. It's okay. It's an early morning. I, I'm very tired. It works out. Uh, he actually seems like he's kind of fun to play, honestly. I am going to do a multi here because they did give us a bunch of compensation off of the two full days of maintenance, which is quite nice. Uh, I'm just going to dream. I like his first a lot because it's the twister that he has. I was hoping he would have the cross nine stitch. Uh, but I imagine once we get into Fishman Island and stuff, we'll end up getting those kinds of characters. Uh, but he seems quite kind of neat, and I do think he'll be kind of fun. I also like this giant single one slash Dragon Quake. I think it's it's not the hypest big cool thing, but it's a simplified single slash and murder, which is quite neat. Um, however, he is a green defender, which is going to be fantastic in the current meta, where there is nothing but constant, abhorrent, Non-stop blues fucking everywhere. Mostly crocodiles, but I am actually curious what his kit is like before we end up doing our pull here. Um, so he has 1400 attack and 1657 defense, which is actually a pretty good stat total all in all at 100. Um, this is just knockback effects and nullify stagger, which is the average. And Dragon Quake, which is a mid-range attack. This will deal a fixed amount of damage and will not increase due to critical hit. Nullify Stagger for a set amount of time and acquire Stun Effect at level 5. Fixed Damage, 7,000. He, 
he seems to be a character made to work in like a full defense build as a defender. And this is a fixed amount of damage. We don't actually have to equip any medals alongside it. That is fascinating. That sounds really fun, actually. And his traits are when around a when you're around an area around a crap, captured treasure, reduce damage incoming by 30%. When health is almost full, gain 50% uh, speed of dodge. When you KO an opponent, get the school and cooldown reduction of skill 1 by 30%. And when in an area around your treasure, boost the cooldown reduction time of skill 2 by 50%. So he's going to be majorly just a, a super powerful defender, um, which is quite nice. However, I do want to do a couple steps here. I might go further. I might not. I just feel as if if I can risk the luck and hope for the best with the Zoro, I'm kind of down for it because he's kind of my favorite character. That is definitely what I wanted to see. Yo, full crew! Show me the Zoro. Oh, shit. Oh, man! That is... not the defender I was looking for. Hey, Kaya. I mean, I was talking about healers. She's the worst four-star in the game currently. Uh, without fail. But I mean... It's neat to see that she came home now, because that means I'll be able to work in, on getting her to 5-star. Oh, man. I could not be more excited for that. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh, my God. I was so excited. Oh, it's only going to be her, too. I know it. I know how this shit works. Oh, it hurts me. Every time. At least I got a Zoro. That counts for something. Ugh. Oh, it all hurts. In the end, this world was for naught, and nothing mattered. But you know what? Oh, I... Hey there, buddy. Holy shit. I just got Arlong. Holy fuck, I've been looking forward to using you. So, I I've wanted to play as Arlong for a long while. I fought against him... Probably every match for what feels like years. It's only been a couple of months since the game came back, but you know what I mean. Um, that's great. And he's another blue attacker, which I'm actually down to experiment with as well in general. So I will absolutely take that multi. That is two new four-star units. And for at least uh, the Arlong, I can start working on getting him to five-star. Because I can start working on his shards as I go. So that is perfect. And exactly what I would have wanted out of that as well. I will take it. And thank God. I probably... I probably will try and get up to doing at least another multi on this. Because I want to get the 4 star guaranteed at least. But that is fantastic. And thank God for that Arlong coming home. Granted, I don't see myself using a regular 4 star version of him anytime soon. But I mean, I'll take the shark on darts. I will absolutely collect as many of these 4 stars as I possibly can. That's my issue, though. I don't get the dupes of the characters I need. I only ever get... Oh, the, there's still so much collection to do as well. Most of these are festival characters as well. Oh, I've had such poor luck when it comes to banner stuff in general. I only have... In terms of five stars that are gotcha-based, that would be Smoker, and that would be Mihawk. But Mihawk, I grind up like an entire multi off of it. So, hopefully I'll end up getting some more relevancy. Uh, but for right now, what I did want to do for today is I wanted to hop into just a couple of League Battles today. I wanted to play as Whitebeard primarily to get some more work done. I just kind of wanted to have fun with it. Um, I am using an attack build on him because I want to play as him just as a big AoE control man. And I also have Chopper equipped, which I will not be using. However, there is currently an event on for all the way down here. We need to use Runners and get wins and Reds and get wins. And so what that means is, until I get Vivi at least, I want to use Chopper to be able to carry me through this. I don't want to use him at all. I just want to use only Whitebeard, but if I get forced into it, we do what we have to, you know? Okay, so if, if I were to say that I cut out that first match because I got fucking Mollywopped and decided to equip Eustace Kid instead, because a double red meta, it, it causes you to get swept super hard, would you get angry at me? No? 
Cool, because that's what just happened, and we are going to go ahead and hop into another match here. Uh, and I guess I'll just claim that 400 experience that I gained off of that, I suppose. It hurts me. Uh, it, it hurts me greatly. However, we're going to hop into another match here with Eustace Kid properly. Uh, with a full attack build and hopefully have a better time than the Whitebeard. Um, I found that I was missing attacks... And it was just the saddest whiff of a game in the world. And I don't think you guys deserve to see that. Genuinely. However, I am probably just going to... Whoa! This is new. Is this a new nighttime version of Barity? I feel as if I don't remember this darkness. Interesting. Um, but yeah. So uh, we're just going to forget that ever happened. And we're going to move on to try and get this done again here. Alrighty, and the enemy team has mostly red, so I imagine Eustace Kid isn't going to have too much of an issue here. Whoa, new track as well! I'm a fan of it, actually. Whoa, okay! Yeah, this is a completely new layout for everything as well. Oh, man! Okay, so I'm trying to process how this map works. So there's a dead end over to where B is. C is where to fight, and there's another dead end over toward where D is. Uh, and E and A seem to be the primary area to go and combat others. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. However, I'm going to go and try to... Oh, I understand what we're doing here. Bop, bop, dup, bye. Hey there, whoop, ha ha, bop it. I just completely fucking missed that. Well, hey, I'm gonna go try and help my teammates out. Hey there, everybody. I just missed entirely. Oh, he was behind me. Yeah, that would explain it. That was also my teammate. Well, hey, this works out kinda enough. Fwah. Bop, bop, tear you apart. I'm just gonna stay inside this area, actually. I don't mind you too much. Bop, bop. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'll take it. Good job, Luffy. Proud of you. Need to go get that C, though. Oh, you're red. Hey there, buddy. You just used your roll to try and pursue that Akainu. That's not how you do that. Uh, He's pursuing you, I believe, in what you're doing. I'm going to try to take down the Shanks while you do it. These guys don't know how to roll around this, honestly. I don't know if it's like bots or something, but this ain't too rough at all. I know what I'm made for, for the most part, so... Like, I'm here to take lives. Ow? Yeah, that's how that would go. Bop it. And I just need to try and square you up real quick. Bye! Here you go. I will grab this, and that is a Kainu Bowling. I'm burning. If I do some damage, that's better than nothing. Damn it. Oh. The issue is the burn would have done another 100 damage guaranteed regardless. I was just kind of a lost cause at that point. I need to try and kill off my chopper as soon as possible right now. Because um, 15 seconds is a long time to wait, but I still feel as if it's still worth it to swap in right now. I just, I don't know how I'm going to control this. I feel as if I kind of want to dive bomb into the area and go and heal the guy that was struggling. Or is struggling right, hey. Or is struggling right now. Heal, go! Damn it, they locked onto me. All right, Anel, you do your work. I will do mine. There we go. So we have 30 seconds left. Um, I will be able to spawn in with my buddy old pal here. I'll buff up. I'm just hoping we don't end up losing. We just need to not lose either C or D. So time to compete. I'll tear you all a new one. Bye! Bye, everybody! How y'all doing today? That's about how it goes. GG. And... Wapole is actually our MVP. I'm so curious about that. Who else was he playing aside from Wapole then? Or was he just the hard carry with him? With our Vor Vorboy? Wow. No, he just did it. Oh, he had the level 80 Akainu. That would explain it. That, yeah, that would definitely be a way to get eight KOs inside this game mode. 
Alrighty, we'll probably do one more match here. I actually like the Bear T9 stage quite a bit. Are there any other new ones that I haven't seen just yet? Uh, Drum Island, not quite, no. There seems to be a different variants of the same things again. That ain't too bad, though. Here, we'll do one more, then pop out. Pong Lennis! Yo, shit! What a cool guy! Okay, so we are on Barity Night once again. I don't know how I feel about this map. Um, it feels very... cramped, from what I can see. Uh, but we'll see how it ends up going as we play more and more on it. Alrighty. So, we have double Zoros. That ain't too bad. One's level 100. Enemy team has a JoJo! Of course he's Brooke. Of course he is! Alrighty. Well, we need to try and watch out for that Shanks for the most part, but it shouldn't be too bad. Luffy is probably going to be the biggest threat, though. Like, Shanks is level 100, so he's going to be a problem. But I can handle that. I can't handle Luffy, and I've been trying to get in the habit of trying to roll straight toward him whenever I try and proc these things, but it's so difficult. Hey there, everybody. How you doing today? Yo, Shanksy Poo. It's time for me to kill you. Oh, yeah, that would be how that breaks my arms. Bye. Bleh. That did nothing. That did nothing. Buff up. There we go. See, I like it because I feel like I'm dunking on the enemies, you know? Oh, he rolled. All right. Well, I lost my arms. Uh, I can't compete with you, apparently. Why do you poke faster than I do? I hate that so much. Shanks, I'm supposed to be the fastest attacker in the game. I hate this. All right, well, I'm going to grab E, I suppose, and hope for the best. And a man can dream of, of different carpets and luxuries. Ah, okay. Oh. Listen, my pants are a shag carpet, but you just shagged me. Miserable, truly. Uh, I can't help you, so I'm just gonna try and get that done, I suppose. This is bad. This is a real bad time. Honestly, a crew of, like, a Brook and a Luffy fighting together works really well. Like, genuinely, this is great for field control. And I kind of... See, I'm waiting for the friend feature. Because once that comes out, we're gonna be able to run teams like this and intentionally plan around having companions. Yo, I'm gonna use Chopper, and you just got hard knocked by it. Holy shit. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go be an asshole. This is the power of asshole! Go! Oh, man. Hey there, you can actually traverse below the entirety of this. Which is kind of neat. I don't mind it. Bah. Yo, I'm team boosted! The power of a reindeer! Ow. Yeah, that would that would do it. That would definitely kill the child. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Arms up. Listen, Arms is coming back with a clown character. Eustace Kid will embrace that shit. He's gonna be the ultimate. What was her name? Let's call it Honk Honk Lady. He'll be the ultimate Honk Lady main. What a hero. Ba ba! Duh. I just need to try and get a kill real quick. Bye. I don't have arms. Please do it. Thank you. Holy shit, we got it. But they just got our... We're good. They almost got our B. We're good. Hell yeah! That was completely lucky. Oh, magical. Truly, truly magical. Um, but I will absolutely take that got one kill throughout the entire match, and I don't know how I got MVP, but I'll absolutely take it. And I don't mind all of that. Thank you for that. Um, but during the season, I am going to try to get up to S+, plus once again, because I have the time, and I like these new maps quite a bit, so I feel like I'm going to end up grinding at least a decent amount during the season. We'll see how it ends up going by the end. Uh, but VB should be a pretty fun time to try and run during this. And honestly, I... I don't know how many bars I need to get her to four-star to actually be able to start running her. 
So that's an unlock right there at least. Here, let's go check the actual exchange shop here. Um, so yeah, 3,000, 8,000, and 12,000. So we'll take a decent amount at least. Um, what I am curious about, before we hop out, because I forgot to do this. Yo, Vivi. Can I check out your abilities after I unlock you? Nice! Big unlock, go up. The strongest. And... Let's look at your skills. Because I was talking about this earlier. Um, she is one of the only characters that actually feels like a legitimate support unit. And I don't know how I'm feeling about it. So, a mid-ranged area of effect that recovers your allies' HP acquires a critical buff effect at 5. So, I imagine that means you can crit on the heals and you end up getting... No, wait. Crit increased by 60%, effect time 10 seconds, which is just a straight-up buff to the teammates then. Um, that's not too bad. I do feel like a 40-second heal is helpful for the most part. Um, I, I Because it's not an offensive attack whatsoever, or a knockback as far as I know, I don't know how much control this is going to hold over a match, you know? Um, and the second tier is increases all your def your allies' defenses within an area. Um, it's 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%, 30%. So it's always the same amount. However, it is for 24 seconds at the end, and it's a minute-long cooldown at the end as well. So... She's going to be interesting. Um, and depending on how her normals are, she might be a better version of Chopper. But I don't see myself ever wanting to play her. It's also because I dislike playing as runners. So I kind of just write them off as meh when it first starts. Uh, but I'll work on her. I'll try and get her maxed out fully and see how things end up going. I like her model quite a bit. So I mean, her cape flows and that's the important part. Um, and I'll just try and get things done. For right now, thank you for watching this episode of Bounty Rush. We'll be streaming later on today. I don't know if it'll be Bounty Rush, but it will be other games that are quite fun. And generally, it should be a good time. For right now, thank you for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time on One Piece Bounty Rush. Bye for now, everybody. Bye.